I wanted to do a bit of a sort of update slash talking to you video. Um, so I haven't got any news as far as the cancer goes. Um, unfortunately, um, my eye has not improved, um, which means that I can't walk without somebody being with me. I just wanted to talk about being a teenager and how much cancer has affected that. So for example, I haven't left my house for a month now. Um, whenever I do leave the house, I can't go unaided. I have to have my mum next to me. I got given a walking I got, I got given a um, crutch actually from physiotherapy um, a while ago and I have refused to use it but I think unfortunately today um, or tomorrow I'll have to start using it if I want any independence. Um, yeah, the sort of, not really, just being a human really actually has just been taken away and stripped from me. Um, Yeah, so um, it's just been a really frustrating month, I suppose. Um, also, the weight gain from the steroids is bringing me down so much. Um, actually, this morning, I... Yeah, the weight gain from the steroids um, is going down slowly, but um, two days ago I actually weighed myself and I weighed 10 stone 5. Of course that really pulled me down because uh, before that I weighed just under sort of like 9 stone. So um, I've put on a lot of weight. Um, also, I have got really awful stretch marks now which is just so, it just makes me hate my body. Like, I'll look in the mirror in general, I mean, I see my face, I see this eye is looking different. Um, I hate the way that I look and I feel really, like, just absolutely, and I just feel horrible at the moment. Um, Yeah, I'm having my second dose of this medication that we um, paid for on on Thursday. Um, hopefully that will improve my eye and will help me. Um, I really bloody hope it does because, I mean, I, I just wanted to be honest with you guys and be honest because this sort of thing isn't talked about enough, um, teenagers with cancer. Um, you know, I just really hope that I see some sort of improvement because at the moment I'm just, because I'm not seeing any improvement, I'm, you know, not feeling good. Um, I'm feeling particularly rubbish because um, I'm going to start using this crutch. Um, my mum suggested it and I have been, you know, uh, avoiding using it for the longest time but I feel like actually if I want to stay sane um if I want to get out by myself I'll have to get used to using the crutch but yeah the uh this is kind of the life of a teenager with cancer I mean also I get really angry because I can't be a normal teenager I can't I haven't learned to drive I got banned for two years and then, oh wow, another tumour comes just as I got, um, also I got banned from driving for two years because of the severity of my original cancer and then I had just got like the all clear to start driving um, at the, sort of earlier this year and then bam, another tumour comes um, which I'm sure has, you know, banned me again from driving. Um, 
also things like, you know, things like clubbing and things like clubbing and partying. Um, you know, I can't do that because of my eye and um you know it's just really pulling me down. Um I just feel really alien and I feel really ugly and um, I feel like if somebody offered me, um, if nobody could offer me anything all I want is my life back, um, I just want the cancer to go and um, I just want to be normal and I was just, I'm just, I'm just going mad. Um, you know, I can't do this, I feel like I can't deal with this, it's all too much, and, um, just, you know, I feel, even though I'm 18, I feel like an elderly person in a young person's body, um, I feel, you know, just rubbish all the time. Glasses, hearing aids, medication, this problem with my eye, the walking, a stick, it's just, it's just really, really shit. And I don't feel like anybody should ever have to go through this, but this is what it's like. Um, I also wanted to say, I know that there's cancer films like The Fault in Our Stars. That is not a representation of cancer, you know, finding somebody in a, um, in a cancer meeting and then suddenly falling in love with them and then travelling halfway around the world within, like, two days. No, that doesn't happen. That is not... A correct representation um, people romanticize cancer it's not it's not romantic and it's not something that anybody would ever want and um, it frustrates me when people represent it in a way that it isn't that's why I do my YouTube videos to actually show how it really is and um, hopefully give you guys an insight but um but yeah I'm just really really angry at the moment and um, you know, I just feel like, what's the point, to be honest with you? Um, but I'm going to leave the video here because otherwise I'll be ranting all day. But um, as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for all of your support and stuff like that in the comments. Um, I will see you guys soon. Bye.